Hi, it's September 23rd, 2021. And I wanted to just come to you this morning and share with you some things that are going on in my life and some something that happened this morning that is pretty interesting. I'd like to get your take on it. Um, so I've been watching the um, La Palma earthquake and volcano since September the 12th, when the rumblings first began. I remembered seeing a documentary years ago about the possibility of a landslide from an eruption on that island that could, if it fell in the right place, cause a tsunami across the East Coast. And I'm sure many of you by now have heard about this and it's ongoing as we speak. As of the 19th, the eruption began. But I've been watching this since the 12th and uh, there's a group of us on this forum that have been keeping a really close eye on this. And of course, as I watch this, you know, my, my prayer is that God's will is done. I know what time it is in the prophetic clock. It's very late, obviously. We know by watching the signs in the world and the things that are going on around us that, that God's judgments are right at the door. And so, of course, I and my family have, have been praying that we would be watchful and um, that we would be praying to escape all that's coming and um, to stand before the Lord. So that is our prayer and God is faithful. Um, he wouldn't ask us to pray that way if there weren't some of those that he intends to have escape these things. Whether your view on the uh, rapture event is um, pre, mid, or post, it doesn't matter. To me, I just stand on God's word and I know what his word tells us. So um, I'm watching these things and um, I'm asking God's will to be done. And one thing that God has given me is a gift of radical faith. I have um, prayed this all of my life and God has been faithful to uh, grant that request. And I believe beyond a doubt that nothing is impossible for God. And when we walk in him, all things are possible through us that believe. God's word promises us many things, um, you know, when we are standing on those promises right now. As his children and his people, we know um, we serve a very faithful God. We serve a God of love. We serve a God of judgment. And um, we trust him. In all of it, we trust him. And so I've been watching this event happening on La Palma and I've been praying God's will is done. But as these eruptions begin to become more intensified and my goodness, over the last couple of nights, I've been up for the last three nights keeping a vigil on this thing. There's so many live feeds up and I had them all pulled up on my computer and it's like NASA, got all these screens open and watching every little thing. Well, an interesting thing started last night and it sounds like on the live feeds, um, it sounds like an angelic choir singing. Now, I know that may sound strange, but I was hearing it, and so were others. And so there were people in this forum that I'm on that are actually on the island. And so we asked those people, could you step outside and see if what we're hearing on these live feeds is actually happening? Or if this has been some music dubbed over the live feeds? And so these people agreed to do that and stepped outside. And sure enough, they could hear these sounds, these it's just, it sounds like angel singing. I don't know how else to describe it. And if any of you have been watching the live feeds, you may know what I'm talking about. And so um, they've been trying to explain it away as, you know, harmonic tremors and the lava tubes and these things, the way the magma is moving through the tubes, it's causing these sounds and these vibrations, like as if you would rub your finger on the rim of a crystal glass. That's what these sounds are caused by. Well, I mean, it could be, I'm no scientist, but. It just really sounds supernatural to me. And so anyway, that said, I got up this morning and normally I pray and ask God to just guide my fingers to the place in his word that I'm supposed to read for the day. Whatever it is for my daily bread, his word is food for my soul. And so when I get up in the mornings, that is my breakfast, if you want to call it that. I ask the Lord to show me where it is I need to read for today, just for today. And then I'll do the same tomorrow and then the next day. It's just my routine. And, and generally, it's not very specific. He just guides me to a verse either to encourage me. I'll read a chapter or two. And, and those things will um, 
give me encouragement. Well, this morning I asked the Lord if he would guide my fingers to a place that would show me about this volcano specifically. I said, Lord, if this, if this event is supposed to happen today or anytime soon, would you just show me that? Or would you just, if, if not, if this is not part of your judgments and this event's not set to take place and this is all being manufactured and uh, possibly triggered, which is a lot of theories out there about that possibility, then um, Lord, we just ask that you would show us. I don't want to be deceived by anything. And so I got my Bible and it fell right open to Matthew 21. <laughs> and it, my eyes fell right to this verse. I'm going to read it to you. Jesus um, went to get a fig off this tree and it was barren. So he cursed the tree and the disciples were astounded at how quickly the tree had withered when they came back by it. And so Jesus had this to say, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this, which is done to the fig tree, but also if you shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. <laughs> now I don't have to tell you guys, my jaw fell open when I read that. You know, I'm watching for the last week and a half a mountain that could possibly slide off of the plate and into the sea. And I'm praying God's will is done. Understanding the destruction something like this would cause. I don't wish that for anyone or any purpose, but I just pray His will is done. But when I read this verse this morning, I got the distinct sense in my spirit that God has given us authority here to speak to things. Now, his judgment's going to come whether we're ready for them or not. He has his appointed times. And I know that with the calendars and the corrupted times and seasons that we're living in, that it might appear that he's delaying. But he has his designated times for things. And I believe that based on those designations and his will, these things cannot be changed. He knows the times that we're in. He knows the day these things will kick off. And I'm not suggesting that this type of thing would happen today, although it's seems primed and ready to, it could be another several months this thing could rumble. But that was the verse that I was led to this morning. That if you will say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it shall be done. Now, that's a dangerous thing to say to someone with radical faith like myself. Because when I read that, immediately, I was tempted. And, and uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I really have... My heart has been broken over watching loved ones and coworkers and friends, fellow believers, run after the solution that the world is offering right now. And I genuinely believe that we are losing more to the kingdom of darkness than we are gaining for God's kingdom at this point. I believe that transition has crossed over. And um, it is watching like watching a slow-moving train wreck. And you feel helpless to do anything about it. Now, my family and I, we've been strong. And we will continue to be strong no matter what. God is our hope. Jesus is our blessed hope. And we are watching for him. So we're not going to take the world's solution, no matter what it looks like. And we know persecution will come. The longer we're here, we expect this. But boy, do I pray that we are, would be accounted worthy to escape all of these things that are coming. And God has shown me that my destiny, although I'm walking in some form of it now, my destiny lies on the other side of this event. I was created for the time that we are in right now. I am one of his warriors, and he has shown me that we will be taken into his presence, trained and returned. And that scripture is very evident when you look in uh, Malachi chapter 3. Verse 17 and 18. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son that serves him. And verse 18 says, Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serves God and him that serves him not. He has shown me this. I've had prophetic words spoken over me to this regard. That God will give me a lightning bolt in one hand and an olive branch in the other. I long to walk in my destiny. 
It's what I was made for. It's why we are here. And so by that radical faith, I read this scripture and Ooh, it was all I could do not to stand up right now, right at that moment, speak to that mountain. Sorry about this. So, I'm just asking you guys to take this to the Lord in prayer. We know that this event would wake people up. Oh my goodness, I got cuckoo clock collection going on in here. <laughs> my apologies. Whew, maybe that is a sign of the times. Be awake, saints. And I just pray that you ask the Lord to reveal to you what it is that we need to be doing right now. What authority do we need to be walking in? What mountains do we need to be speaking to? Because an event like this, although very destructive, would certainly wake his people up. And that is my desire. I wish they would wake up. I pray they will wake up. So God's will be done. And if we are to speak to this mountain and say, be cast to the sea, then I pray that he will show us that and give us that authority to walk in boldly and speak to these mountains according to his will. So thank you for listening. I appreciate your time. And I just pray a blessing over all of you that have taken the time to hear these messages and are seeking his face. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you Lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Have a blessed day.